Hi, in this video we'll take a look at the new Web Excel Explorer component that's part of 2010 Volume 2 release of Infogistics ASP.NET product. What the Excel Explorer allows you to do is take the Web Data Grid or the Web Hierarchical Data Grid and export it to an Excel sheet. So if you have user requirements that want the grid data to be exported to Excel, the Excel Explorer would allow you to do that. So let's get started. What I have in front of me is a page setup with a web hierarchical data grid on, on the form and some SQL data source that's been used to get the data into the grid. So let's run this and see what we have at runtime. So here uh, we have customers and orders um, as a hierarchy in this grid. And now what I want to do is I want to take this grid data and export to a, to an Excel sheet. So let's close that and let's uh, get that accomplished using the new Web Excel Explorer component. I'm going to come to my toolbox and I'm going to drop the Excel Explorer component onto my form. I'm going to say download name is my customer details. Once I have that, I want an action upon which the grid data will be exported to Excel. So I'm going to drop a button onto the form. And let's add a server handler to it. In here, all I need is the Excel export component to say export my grid, which is the web hierarchical data grid. That's it, just one line of code. And let's run this. Okay, now we're at runtime, we have a button. Again, same data, and we click on this button. Click on Open. You saw that the name automatically got assigned to my Excel file, which is Customer Details. Open that. And you saw that the entire data inside of the grid, what I was viewing, is now exporting Excel file. Okay, so let's take a, take a look at some of the options that you have that you can use to configure the Excel exporter. First, I want to mention that it's smart to know that whatever is being visible is exported to the Excel file. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to enable certain behaviors that you may or may not be using on the grid that could affect what's being displayed. So I'm going to enable filtering, paging, that said page size to be 20, uh, and let's set sorting to be enabled. Let's apply that. Hit OK. OK, and let's run this again. So I have my page size set up. Um, there are five pages. And uh, the filtering being set up, let's apply a filter first. So I'm going to say equals, let's say contains sales. Okay, my grid data is filtered. Let's sort on a contact name column. Okay, and let's switch to page number two. Okay, let's see what happens when we do an export now. Open that up again, and you'll see that the visible data is now exported. So if we try to map it up, it's sorted. Um, the filtered data is here, and accordingly, the, the, the customer ID and the company name. Um, so basically, 20 records is what's being transferred to my Excel file. Now, generally, um, even though you give this option to, uh, to the end user to apply these settings, you may always want the entire grid data to be exported. So you might just set paging for performance reasons for the web page. But uh, when, when you do an export, you want the entire grid data to be exported. So let's change the setting to get all the data exported to an Excel file, regardless if paging is enabled or not. So I can come here to my Excel exporter, and there is a property called um, data and grid only. But I want data, all data in my data source. So I can set that up here. And instead of downloading, I can say, just display me in the browser. Let's set, up, set that up and run it again. OK, 
Okay, so I have again my grid. Um, again, there are 20 records per page. And let's click on this button. Open that up. And you'll see that it's exported. And my entire grid data is exported. Even though, as a performance gain, I use the paging to trim down the download size of my web page and improve performance. But when it came to exporting data, I still have all my data that's available in the source. On the web, so at in this quick demo, you com. saw that you can how easy it is to use the Excel Explorer component to take your data in, inside of a web data grid or the web hierarchical data grid and just like with one line of code you can export the data to an Excel file and there are property settings that you can configure in the Excel Explorer however you want to um, however way you want the data to be exported I hope this video was helpful thanks for watching